This week is International Brain Awareness Week. We set up this exhibition to interact with various different local community groups and local artists to really interact and discuss our research. With a particular interest in the brain but also bringing mitochondria into the public eye. So we thought we'd take some of the pictures we generate in the lab take them out to different community groups and get them to interpret them in artistic forms um, and this is really an exhibition of all that work we've collected and kind of just a chance for us to talk to people about the work we do. So we went out to school art classes, we went to community groups who work with adults with learning difficulties and brain injuries and we also interacted quite a lot with professional artists so in the exhibition it's really nice because we've got a real mix between completely amateur to very professional. So obviously we have the exhibition where they can walk around, vote for their favourite pieces of art, uh, but most of the kids make their way to either playing with the jelly brain at the end so they actually get to feel what a brain feels like. Um, looking down the microscope is always quite fascinating to children and we have a make your own mycochondria. So we have our mitochondria but then we have our mycochondria for the kids to make. We're delighted to see so many of you here tonight and we're certainly looking forward to taking you upstairs to our exhibition to have a good look round and also to announce the prize winners um, for the Lily Foundation calendar. Time to announce the uh, prize winners for the Lilly Foundation calendar. The first prize is um, for Brenda Cavana from Arts for Wellbeing. The next prize, this is for Julie McCourt and this is for the highly voted for Popcorn Brain. Uh, the next prize is for Audra Knowles um, sink, Silk Print of the Cajal Neurons. And the next award goes to John Stewart, and this was for picture number one. Okay, so next up uh, we have Alice Stainforth from Northumbria University, who I believe is here. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay, next we have Joanne Elliott from Arts for Wellbeing. Okay, so an individual who I know is here, uh, Samuel Hawksby Robinson is next. If you'd like to collect your prize. Okay, and last on my list, we've got Harry from the Lindhurst Centre. We have Gary McLean from North Tyneside um, Art Studio. And, <laughs> and then number 10, we have um, Dan Sutherland. And number 11 um, goes to Chris Ridge from the North Tyneside Art Studio. Our last prize for this evening goes to Gemma Coulthard, again from North Tyneside Art Studio. Thanks again.